Hi, I hope I'm live right now. Uh, so I said yesterday I was going to uh, come down to my studio and make some sugar polish uh, for the boxes that are going out um, in a few days. So I'm going to um, let you see how I do this. So I have to use a tripod obviously because I need two hands to do this. So I'm all set up and ready to go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, you can see here I've got, I've got my ingredients all on the counter. Uh, I'm going to set this down here so that you can see me fill this Pyrex. Um, there we go. Yes, I am strategically placing this so that you can't see the scale. I am not going to actually share my recipe, but I'm going to show you how I make it. Hey, gotta guard your secrets, right? Okay, so um, I forgot to sterilize a couple spoons, so I'm going to use this spoon. I need to sterilize it. I'm going to spray it down with some 99% isopropyl uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Make sure it is nice and clean. And first thing I need to add is my coconut oil. So, get that open. I'm going to make about 10 jars of sugar polish, and this is the pro size, it's the si it only comes, um, the pro size is only available for my subscribers, or if a spa wants to carry the uh, sugar polish to use in their services, this is the size that they buy. It's a nice 16 ounce jar, so it lasts my subscribers. Uh, hopefully until their next box three months later. Okay. Need another spoon. I'm gonna sterilize another spoon. I'm gonna scrape off the stuff. Hopefully you can hear me well enough. I haven't done this live before, so have no idea how this is uh, <laughs> coming across. But hopefully you will enjoy it. Okay, get that closed. Now uh, shea butter. Butter wasn't even open yet. Okay. Shea butter is really quite hard, and I have to be very careful when I heat it uh, because it um, it can get um, not crystallized, but I guess that's kind of what it does. It, it gets all kind of um, lumpy, uh, granular. That's a good good way to describe it. It gets granular if you get it too hot. So to melt these down, I'm going to do a double double boiler technique. And uh, I totally missed the bowl right there. Yeah, I'll I'll melt this down in a double boiler. I've got a pot right beside me here. Uh, all hot and ready to go once I've got all the ingredients in here that's going to get warmed up. Go. 
go. Good. Okay. And so that's the shea butter. And now some honey. And add some honey. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. Get the honey going. It's looking like a dessert, isn't it? Like uh, some butterscotch topping going over ice cream. Yum. Then add some sugar. Wow. honey than that so I'm gonna just leave this jar for now and sit it on its head so that it's all at the bottom for my next use. And this one's not open either. Now, honey is a wonderful um, antioxidant and antibacterial, or antibacterial, I don't know, antioxidant, might be just quoting there, but I know it's a wonderful antibacterial. Okay. And... Apricot kernel oil. a lot like cooking. You follow a recipe. There we go. So now this is going to go in here. And this will heat up and uh, melt. Then I'll add essential oils. the uh, preservative and then add that to the sugar so I'm not gonna sit you and have you <laughs> sit here and watch this for hours but let's get the uh, essential oils and sugar measured out so there's my little beaker Essential oils is my personal blend, house blend, my best best seller. And put that, measure that out. There we go. Ah, the smell is so good. So, so good. I never get sick of that smell. Okay, and now the preservative, phenoxyethanol and caprylglycol. It is uh, a European approved preservative, uh, about as natural as you can get with preservatives. Oh. 
no formaldehyde, no parabens. Oh, I got it bang on. Wow. Darn, I'm good. Okay, now I set that aside. Once the uh, oils have all um, melted, then I would add the essential oil and the, uh, the preservative. Mix that together, and then it gets added to the sugar. And then I'm ready to put it in jars. So I'm going to measure out the sugar next. And I'll tune back in later. So, measuring out the sugar. And I will tune back in when I'm ready to put the oils and the sugar together and fill the jars. See you soon. Bye.